Jeannie, born 1957, is a pseudonym of an American feral child who was a victim of severe abuse, neglect, and social isolation. When she was approximately 20 months old, her father began keeping her in a locked room. During this period, he almost always strapped her into a child's toilet or bound her in a crib with her arms and legs immobilized, forbade anyone from interacting with her, provided her with almost no stimulation of any kind, and left her severely malnutrished. Wiley? Yes. Why did you keep your daughter in a room? Mr. Wiley has room? no comment. No comment. We haven't had time to discuss the charts we haven't even seen. The extent of her isolation prevented her from being exposed to any significant amount of speech, and as a result, she did not acquire language during her childhood. Her abuse came to the attention of Los Angeles Child Welfare Authorities in November 1970, when she was 13 years and 7 months old. Psychologists, linguists, and other scientists initially focused a great deal of attention on Jeannie's case. Upon determining that Jeannie had not yet learned language, linguists saw Jeannie as providing an opportunity to gain further insight into the processes of controlling language acquisition skills and to test theories and hypotheses. Throughout the time scientists studied Jeannie, she made substantial advances in her overall mental and psychological development. Within months, she developed exceptional nonverbal communication skills and gradually learned some basic social skills. But even by the end of their case study, she still exhibited many behavioral traits, characteristics of an unsocialized person. She also continued to learn and use new language skills throughout the time they tested her but ultimately remained unable to fully acquire a first language. Authorities initially arranged for Jeannie's admission to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, where a team of physicians and psychologists managed her care for several months. Authorities placed her with the family of the scientists heading the research team, with whom she lived for almost four years. Soon after turning 18, Jeannie returned to live with her mother, whom decided after a few months that she could not adequately care for her. Authorities then moved her into the first of what would become a series of institutions for disabled adults, and the people running it cut her off from almost everybody she knew and subjected her to extreme physical and emotional abuse. As a result, her physical and mental health severely deteriorated and her newly acquired language and behavioral skills very rapidly regressed. In January 1978, Jeannie's mother forbade all scientific observations and testings of Jeannie. Little is known about her circumstances since then. Her current whereabouts are uncertain, although she is believed to be living in the care of the state of California. Psychologists and linguists continue to discuss her, and there is considerable academic and media interest in her development in the research team's methods. At that point in history, there had been very few cases like these, and there have been many more since.